It's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be playing around with the items that came in the June 2020 Premium Sketchbox box. That box included a bunch of different kinds of graphite items and I'm really excited to play around with them. I am using the paper that we got in this month's box and it is a Han Mule 3x4 bamboo pad paper. The size of the paper is really small so I decided to try to draw something that would be pretty easy to do and I decided to do kind of a bust of a hanging upside down ghost girl. For the sketch I am using the HB pencil that came in the Credicolor 9 piece graphite set. I'm trying to start with the pencil that is the hardest and therefore the lightest and I will gradually be building up to some deeper, darker ones as we go. After getting my sketch in there, I am going in with the Derivon liquid pencils and I'm starting with the yellow one to use in her skin tone and I will end up using the blue as a base for the background. I'm kind of using these more as a baseline to start my shading at, and then I'll be building around it with the other bits of graphite we have in here. I thought these were really fun. I think it's gonna be great to play around with this on a larger piece of paper because of the amount of coverage you can get. And I also enjoy the different effects you can get with this liquid graphite. My favorite part about this too was that I was able to just wet the liquid pencil that I still had on my palette from doing the test swatches from the last video. I was able to re-wet them and use them and put it on this paper. So those small tubes are going to last a very long time. Using it reminded me of a mixture between using watercolor and using charcoal or chalk pastel mixed with water. The first time I ever used charcoal mixed with water was actually for a college level intermediate drawing class I took at a just local community college. And I actually really enjoyed that project and I liked playing around with it. So if you're ever bored and you wanna try something new, Try playing around with some charcoal or some chalk pastel mixed with water. It's interesting the different effects you can get, especially if you layer dry charcoal or pastel on top. At this point in the drawing, I have started bringing in a couple of the graphite sticks and using water on top of that. You can do that as well. And I'm just gradually building the different shades that we have from the credit color sets. And then I'm pulling in that Lyra graphite crown in 2B to do the hair and to play around with the background a little bit. I also lift up the background to make it a little lighter by pulling in our kneaded eraser that we got. I also do bring some water on top of that Lyra graphite crown in the hair specifically. And at one point I do dip that same crown directly into my cup of water just to make it even darker and deeper. I wanted there to be a difference between her hair and the background. I am pulling in a hair dryer to help dry in between, but I am letting the water go however it wants to, and I'm going to incorporate that into the drawing itself later. I did use all the graphite sticks in the background, and I do pull in every single pencil that I got in this month's box, just in different areas, usually for shading around the face and for helping to define certain spots. The Winsor Newton Medium Putty Eraser, I do end up pulling it in quite a bit to help pull up graphite in certain areas, and I thought it worked fairly well on pretty much all of the items that we used, with the exception of the liquid pencil. These kinds of erasers are great for lightening different kinds of media. I also enjoy the fact that you can rip off a small piece to help erase tinier sections. That Alvin B2 lead holder, I really, really enjoy this one. I like how you can allow a decent chunk of the lead out, and since it is a thicker lead, you can hold it at a certain angle and be able to shade a little bit more easily than you can with a lot of mechanical type pencils. I do decide to make it look like possibly some hair is also wrapped around her neck. This was freestyled based on when I dried the liquid pencil with a hair dryer. Some of it swooshed around and left marks in certain areas, so I just went over it with the other pencils and incorporated it right into that drawing. 
for the Creative Color pencils themselves, especially at this point where I'm trying to put in a lot more detail work, I made sure that I kept them sharp the entire time. A dull pencil is not going to do you much good for any kind of detail work, and even for shading, the duller it gets, the harder it gets to cover the actual paper. With all the layering I'm doing, especially with some of the deeper, softer graphite pencils and sticks, because it does go up to 6B with the sticks, there is a little bit of shine because of the light that I use for filming, so I am sorry about that. That is just something that will happen with lots of layers of graphite. Overall, I really enjoyed this month's box. I thought there were a lot of fun things that I can pull into a lot of different projects later. I do want to try out these materials on a bigger piece of paper. I think especially with having the liquid pencil, the Lyra graphite crown, and then the graphite sticks, that doing something bigger than 3 by 4 inches would be kind of fun. I think a lot of the items that came in here would make larger graphite drawings a lot easier. The Credit Color 9-piece graphite set worked pretty well. I enjoyed how the pencils and the sticks worked. The liquid pencil is a lot of fun. I'm looking very much forward to using that in the future. The Alvin B2 lead holder is literally my favorite mechanical pencil I've ever used. The King Art Gold Art Dagger 1 8th. Since I got to use it to do detail work and for coverage, this was an interesting shaped brush and I think it worked really well for this size paper and I think it's going to be versatile for a lot of stuff in the future. The Lyra Graphite Crown was also cool for covering up large spaces. I really enjoyed how the Windsor Newton Medium Putty Eraser worked and I am interested in using the Han Mule paper again for some other supplies. I really liked this box and I'm surprised that I did because it is a graphite box. You would think a graphite box would be boring, but this was anything but. It was exciting to play around with everything that came in here. After I pulled the tape off of this drawing, I decided off camera that I wanted to extend the hair into my border. So I did, and I enjoy how it looked. But with that, this video is pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, or concerns, or you want to share your feelings about any of the items that came in this month's box, please let me know in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. I do Sketchbox unboxings and projects once a month. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!